told my, my screener that um, a teacher needs a lot more than test scores for and tenure. A teacher needs a lot more than test scores. This thing can't be based alone on test scores. Test, okay? Test, um, test scores. My, my screener that, and you told my, my screener that, and you told my, my screener that, and you told my, my screener that. We are saying goodbye to our long-term executive producer, Nula McGovern, who is moving to London, moving with her husband, really, who got a job uh, transfer over there. And uh, she is going over the Great Pond, not far from where she started out. I'm quite excited to get interviewed by Brian there. He's a top been around him for 18,000 hours. Now, when I was just trying to bring the caller in for a follow-up, I said, is the caller still there? He would, excuse me. So you got to break a few eggs. you got to break a few eggs, exactly. And I You're just... masterful in this, and this is what I think like really created a good interview. And you didn't totally break the egg here. Sandra Day O'Connor remains composed. But you managed to slip in, in the middle of the Iraq study group, this big discussion on the recommendations. Just indulge me, and may I ask you another question? And here's what the question was. I can't get, I can't get. I'm in the tub. <laughs> I'm in the tub. <laughs> You're ready to turn on a dime, over-prepare, make a plan, change it. In particular, watch out for governors. <laughs> yeah, they said they provided comic relief. They did indeed, they did indeed. Well, we've had so many instances over, like, one quiet afternoon, trying to decide what could the lead story be. Then my computer didn't work. And guess what was happening this time? Here's a little clip from that particular afternoon when we had to rush to get to air. All right, now I was actually on vacation during the blackout. That's uh, one of the bits of history that we laugh about. Every time I go on vacation, something weird and memorable happens. So like true. Like Jim McGreevy coming out so and saying true. he was a gay American. Little things like Iraq invading Kuwait. And, and in this Gonzalez, case, finding Saddam Hussein. Let's not even go down that list. But in this case, the blackout. And you were working at your computer. The computer went out. And suddenly you realized... We have to go on the air. Exactly. And Beth Fertig and Richard Haig did it. John Keefe, our news director, made some, he kind of set it up with some sticky back plastic and a, you know, a pair of scissors and managed to get us on the air. <laughs> Even though it's radio, it pays to have eyes like a hawk. For the simple reason being, you could be in that studio, we've got ten lines, you never know who might be calling in. Here's somebody we just noticed happened to be calling. Guess what? After a half hour of talking about Senator Hillary Clinton, she's calling in. She was calling to defend her military record, believe it or not, when she was first lady. The caller had accused her of uh, forcing everybody who was in uniform to take off their uniforms. Because and wear she, civilian clothing. Wear Brian, civilian finish that. <laughs> in your capacity as producer. It's to see that, and it's to understand and to turn that round as quickly as you can. You know, it could be, it just adds to the conversation. You're looking for that other um, unexpected, unpredictable moment that's going to enrich the experience of the listener and really add something to the conversation. So, And it's not always the celebrity, it's just trying to understand that, that great call. We're asking you, our listeners, to give your insider tips about London to Nola. Some of the other things coming in, in case you want to know, Nola, the best thing sure. to do in London is go to Paris. Great access to the channel. But uh, Google is not the answer. You need to have a life, socialize, get out and talk to people. Um, I find taxi drivers are a real font of information. Drop an issue into the conversation. And if it provokes discussion, it's probably going to work on the radio. Because basically what we're trying to do here is get all the different parts of your life and bring them here. Not just always news or politics, but we want to know like how you're parenting your kids <coughs> in the city, how you are managing your career, all those things. A teacher needs a lot more than test scores and for tenure. A teacher needs a lot more than test scores. This is going to be, this is going to really going to be fun to listen to, because this is where you get to pull your favorite callers, right? Exactly. So I've, I have a few. Oh, there are so many. I really just narrowed it down just to a minute. There have been so many, and I just want to say thank you to all the callers who have called in and made this uh, show such a joy to produce. We have done call-ins on the first-time voter, Democrats, Republican, as an undecided, the soccer moms and the NASCAR dads. We've called in how it is to live with HIV, how religions affect your politics, your environmental sins, the MTA, the smoking ban, and performing Hajj, and we've asked you to rename Cityfield, what makes a real Brooklynite, to share the strangest news you've received by text, and you've helped your fellow listeners on so many things, everything from what to do first when you lose your job, how to find cheaper healthcare, 
and um, you've called from the tub while we stopped for jaywalking from the voting booth and sitting in your parked car while waiting to move it. The second one is Jean, who won our political satirical haiku. The John you hear her refer to is John Ashcraft, who was then US attorney, and there was a spirit of justice statue with an exposed breast that he paid, well, the Justice Department paid $8,000 to have curtains to cover the menacing breast. Haiku Jam first prize winner is this haiku from Jean from Staten Island. John orders a bra, an underwire or soft cup, the menacing breast. How do you measure as a principal? How did you measure? And if you can, turn off your radio because we're getting turn off your radio. Because turn off your radio. And 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 turn off your radio. I'm in the tub. I can't get. I can't get. I can't get. I can't get. I'm in the tub. I'm in the tub. I'm in the tub. I can't get. I can't get. I can't get. I can't get. I'm in the tub. Ha, 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 ha.